Our job today is we're fixing a leak and I'm going to show you what we're fixing. So if you can see in there what this roof plumber's done is he's put on new gutter. This is the new gutter but he's left this fly over short so this gutter should always go past your fascia which is this bit here. But what he's done is he's cut it short and so when the water comes in because I've just adjusted this but when the water was coming in it was hitting the fascia running down here okay and getting caught in the bit under here and that was causing it to run all the way along the bottom of the fascia because obviously it slightly falls this way and you can see how wet that corner is so what's happening is it's flooding down the corner and wrecking all of that um, plaster and getting inside the house so I'm just going to show you how we fix that we're just going to cut a slip joint and I'm going to make it longer and I'll show you how we cut the flyover so that doesn't happen. Okay, the owner's giving me some old gutter he's got. So I'm just going to show you where he went wrong on his flyover. So if we're doing a flyover, we my pencil, there we go. I'm gonna copy his angle, that's not a problem. That wasn't the problem, and make it a bit longer. So, you can see how he's cut that there. He doesn't have any backing on it or anything. So I'm gonna show you how I do it, because it's just a little bit, how would I say? Safer, better, stops it running along the fascia. So I'm going to cut on the angle. I'm going to be looking at straight across, straight across, like that. Okay, and I'm going to measure up 70 because the back of the gut is 70. And now I will cut. On that 70, like so, and we'll cut him down on the angle just prior to the other one and then maybe he'll come across. Okay. So when we cut now, like so, I'm kind of creating half of a stop end. So bend that. Bend, bend your pain. There we go. I'm going to give him a little snip, a little snip, bend him over. Okay. Not that flat. Now, you can do that on the end, which will give you something to run off. Okay. And then all I'm going to do, see that section there? I'm going to dry it and seal up it. So now when it's running along, it'll fall down there. Clean it all off with the towel. Make sure that's a nice clean joint. Look, I would have preferred that to be a bit more of a, uh, a nice uh, square bend, but sometimes that's what happens. That's not intentional, is how I would say. Okay, you seal up the back. So now as that fills up, all the water is going to fall out the front. That's a general idea we want out of it. My leg. There. So I'm just going to be flying through this because we've got a bit of rain coming in. <laughs> Cut your top edge off. Clip him inside, like so. There we go. Okay. 
drills. One in the top. And yes, I should have safety glasses on, but I'm not getting down to get them again. I don't have time. Once it starts raining, this gets about five times harder. There's one. Yep. And one in front. The movement you're getting is because you're actually on the cutter I'm putting in. So, I'm going to put that one in. Hold it all together. Double snip my back. Snip. And where's my greens? Greens, greens. Yep. And snip. Fold him over. Lovely. We finish with make sure it's dry. And look when you use this you'll see it bubbling out. You will see the actual um, water bubbling out. It's great. So, you can see there that I've got a bit of the end open, but that back bit is sealed. So that is so that the water falls out the front here and onto the secret gutter and away, okay? And it doesn't fall through the back here onto the um, <coughs> fascia and run down either through here or down this section here and into the back. And that's where it was going before into there. I'll try and get a, I don't know if the camera will get in there for you, but it was going down and onto there and running all the way along. So the idea of that is to keep it away from that and that'll stop it running along the bottom here. And you can see how it's been running along the bottom there and then it's been dripping out at the corner and it's just been destroying that so that's how you do it I'll push that end down a bit more because quite frankly I think it needs it and then we're all done and we're all dusted there he is all done all finished you can see he's down nice and tight there now so he's all finished if you like it please subscribe um, Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Um, just a point, I've put a slip joint in there because it's easier. And you can see we're away from the front. Nobody's ever going to see it. But aesthetically, if that would bother you, you would have to replace this entire length up to that corner. So that's how you would do it. All right, see you on the next video.